Um, there's a couple things I want to do to this first. And the power cord on it has seen better days. It's all green and corroded. We're going to replace that. So this is where the cord comes in. Got an onboard switch. Nothing wrong with that switch. We're going to keep using it. Um, but we need to get this wiring cover off of here. This is on there with stake cons. I need to see if I have any. So before I modify this thing, I want to make sure I look at how it's hooked up. I'm going to hold this out of the way and take a picture with the cell phone. I mean, it's kind of obvious looking in there what needs to happen, but just in case something gets snatched off or I forget or whatever, it's always better to have a picture. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy myself some length out of this, um, leave these stay cons on the wire, and I'll strip this outer jacket back off of this cord some, and cut the wires back here somewhere, and that'll leave me enough slack in the wire to actually make a tap on the new cord and, and land it in there. So I just don't have the stay cons, or I just use stay cons. But for now, I'm going to get these pulled out of here where I can get to them with my fat fingers. Alright, that'll make this go a little bit smoother. And then, I'll cut this puppy right about there. And that's the uh, ready corroded one. I'll done up then this will slide off okay now I'm gonna cut these back stripped and this cord is one that I salvaged off of some other piece of equipment and just hung on to it in case I needed it so uh, I'm glad I have it now but it's an identical cord and actually that ground wire in it already has a loop I'm just not sure it's Big enough to go over that. Put one less wire nut in this enclosure. It'll be good. Oh, yeah.
we want to check before I plug it in and short anything. I want to check it for shorts. And it's kind of a necessary step. Breaker should take care of any problems, but um, we're going to do it anyway just because that's what I do. So check the leads. So we'll check one side of the plug to the other, and it's open. Now the switch is off, so I'm going to check it to ground, so that's not shorted to ground. Check the other side to ground, that's also not shorted to ground. Now we should see continuity when I flip this, and we do. So that's reading through the motor. So we know the switch is good. We're not shorted anywhere. So now we can plug this thing in and take her for the test drive. It's surprisingly quiet. So, all right, that's that. This thing's set up and ready for what I want to do with it. New cord, new fittings up here.